I am in midair right now because I have done something that I didn't think I was going to be able to do. Bear with me for a second. I'm actually on a stone block. I'm not flying. So I'm going to be live tonight. I'm going to be playing Minecraft, but the chances are all you guys are going to say in the chat is please play Geometry Dash. I, I don't know anymore. I'm a Minecraft YouTuber. But look, I want to experiment with some wind charges. I mean, fart charges but it appears i made a mistake in the last video now tripwire hook is very visible in minecraft if you're looking for one anyway i mean you can generally see it no i wasn't wrong that is a tripwire hook let me demonstrate real quick here's a piece of string and when you place it down obviously you can barely see anything because it's meant to be fairly invisible however if you connect it with another piece of string and place it on the ground next to it it clearly says i am a tripwire hook with the smiley tongue face. So no, I'm not wrong. Yeah, you can try that trick out. It always works. Okay, I've got hitboxes on. I'm about to do something that I should have done last week. I mean, the week before when wind charges came out. The way wind charges work is if you spawn one underneath you, you jump a little bit, about seven to eight blocks maximum. Wind charges stack their launching power. What I want to do is spawn as many as I can without completely ruining my game. Now, in order for me to do that, I've had to make wind charges pretty much invisible to the eye. You can't see them if you turn off hitboxes. They're just they're not there anymore. And that allows my game to render as many of them as possible. So if I spawn two, so you can see there are two now, three, including me, and then unfreeze, I get launched 22 blocks up. Let me multiply by two again. So now there are four. Again, you can't see them, but if I turn on hitboxes, they're all there, every single one of them. And then I unfreeze. I get launched 71 blocks up. Now I've actually approximated a mathematical model to calculate how high I would jump depending on how many wind charges I've summoned. And I'll show you that in a second. So this is eight. So then that's 208 blocks. 16 is 546, so I'm not gonna show you that. I'm gonna blow this number up really fast. This is 32, and that launches me up 1,310. Okay, <laughs> eventually I have to teleport myself down. Now this is 256. Eventually what's gonna happen before I spawn all of them is the computer is gonna freeze and then play a very loud noise. There we go, that's 13,000. This is 1,024 wind charges. <laughs> it's trying to calculate everything. 1,024. Launches me up 55,000 blocks. There we go, just over 55,000. And now this is 8,192 wind charges. Now it's still trying to spawn them. And that was very loud. <laughs> I got scared by that. I have not timed how long it takes to play the noise. This should be 449,000 blocks. Yes. Just over 449,000. And that is me. I can go even higher than this, and I will. In fact, we'll go two steps higher to 32,768, or the absolute value of the 16-bit signed inch limit. So here we go. I don't even know if this is gonna be doable. Oh, it's trying. What? Oh, oh my god, it reached 1.8 million. It actually reached 1.8 million. <laughs> I'm 2 million blocks up in the sky. I think we can go higher. And I just had dinner too. Okay, so here is the polynomial of best fit to the power of 2. We can go higher, obviously, with the number of data points that we got, but it's fairly accurate, I would say. So if we go with the 32,768 that we just ran and then plug that in, it says that we would have hit 1.8 million, which we did. So if we spawned 9999999 No, I'm kidding. Let's do 2 billion. Okay. How high would we have flown? 480 trillion blocks or 480 billion kilometers. 